Nicole here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's been a minute since I've been on this channel and I am doing it messy is how I'm leaning into the messiness of it because <clears throat> there's some things that I'm working on and I've been working on even though I have fallen off the face of the earth according to Facebook and Instagram and in the time frame that I've been away, there's two new platforms, Threads, Blue Sky. Um, there's another, there's some, there's a couple of other ones as well. Um, I think it's called Sip. Don't get me to lie in. Don't get me to lying about that. <clears throat> so much has changed in such a short period of time. I'm working on some really amazing projects that, I recognize that need and also working with my clients one-on-one. -on -one, I needed a space to just be in conversation with myself. So I have a couple of collaboration projects that I'm working on. I'm working on the Alchemist and Oracle with a fellow spiritual warrior of mine. I don't even know if you guys even know about that. So much. So much that I have a this channel oh man i may go into more detail about that here um at another time but i just felt it would just be really kind of weird to just start posting again without some context uh in terms of the direction of this channel this channel is going to be kind of a mixed bag of mostly me sitting down and being in conversation in this way <clears throat> and sharing just a very small, tiny bit of my life because I've recognized that I don't need people to know what I'm eating, who I'm eating with, um, how I'm eating every single day. I don't need that in my life. I don't have the energy for that either to, to be creating in that way. And I don't enjoy creating in that way consistently. I don't mind sharing like one-offs and things like that. So you'll kind of get like a little bit of mixed bag in, in that capacity. But I'm super excited, hopeful to be sitting here. I feel so blessed and honored to be sitting here because here's the sad part the people that I've lost that I could pick up the phone or talk to or like my biggest support are no longer with us that's the hard part. It's just really hard. And I know I'm not the only one. Um, there's just a lot of transition going on. And I'm being called to be much more visible in a way that supports people by being in conversation, by engaging in conversation, by supporting through the work that I do. So I'm always in conversation with people, always in conversation with people in some capacity. I'm always in conversation with myself first. And what I recognize is the synchronicity of the conversations that sometimes I have with myself, that I have with my clients, that I have with the most random of person, like in, in, in the grocery store, um, or I see something uh, online and it's just like, wait, what? 
so I recognize the signs and I hear how I'm being called to sit here and hit record and do it messy, even though it's on Zoom and the quality is not the greatest. You can't even tell that I have like fingertips. I, I don't understand their blur. Like, make that make sense. The world is glitching. And what I know for sure is that depending on your perspective, your awareness, your current vision will have the greatest impact in terms of how you see that glitch happening. As someone who's very energetically sensitive, I see the glitching. This world is glitching and buckle up. That's all I'm going to say. Buckle up. It's not anything to be afraid of. I don't think fear is serving in any capacity. I think it's it's more of coming back to ourselves and, and being reminded of the power that we have within ourselves, the capacity we have to really be much more mindful and intentional in how we choose to live our life. We have much more power than we realize. And one thing that I'm being called to do within my own work, within my own practice and, and with myself is really helping support people to tap back into their own power and their own inner authority, which has been super strange for me because I am the one that people come to for like skin consultations, for a gut skin health connection, like health, integrative nutrition focus, like energy work, you know, focusing on chakras and, and um, things of that nature. And I'm shifting away to tell people like, hey, let me tell you how you can do that for yourself. We have given, and I've known this for years, that people give their power away to other people. They give their responsibility to other people and no one is coming to save you. And I've, it's, it's going to be very clear going into this new year that we're going into. One thing about me, uh, I feel like I probably need to reintroduce myself. A little bit about my background is that I am an esthetician, I've been an esthetician for years. Uh, and I am also an inter integrative nutrition health coach. I don't really like to call myself a coach, um, but I'm integrative nutrition health coach, really also specialize in, in understanding how the gut the gut microbiome has the greatest impact and influence on our internal health, as well as externally communicating and expressing what's going on internally, which has had the greatest impact in terms of how I approach skincare as an esthetician. I, I do not treat skin in a traditional way at all. Uh, like most estheticians, I feel I have taken on the approach like less is more. Um, one, because I understand the structure of the skin and the skin's capacity to absorb. Like it can't absorb everything you put on it. And there's certain molecular structures of different products and, and the formulations and the ingredients within those products that they don't absorb into the skin because the molecular structure is too big to penetrate the skin. But anyway... I digress. It's having those conversations that I'm realizing are really, really needed at this time to help provide insight and support in some capacity. I also have recognized that, you know, people look at my skin and, and it's like, oh my God, like I, I don't have perfect skin. Perfect skin doesn't exist. First of all, I... I don't do a lot of makeup and, and things of that nature on my skin. And I, I have approached it from a very minimalistic standpoint and understanding that it's really about what you consume on a nutritional, like a food per standpoint, as well as your emotional, because your emotions really do dictate what shows up on your plate. 
and that's part of, of my learning as an integrative nutrition um, practitioner and such. So that's part of my, my, um, my bag of skills. And then I am also a certified crystal practitioner and I work with chakras and understanding energy. If I had to put it tied up in one little bow, I would say that I am, I work with energy. I read energy, I understand energy, and I help provide support in people tuning into their energy and getting clear on what energetic blockages they have, what it is they're trying to attune to, and I really help support them in listening to their body. For me, it's deciphering the communication and reading the energy um, at the different levels that energy expresses itself. So that's the work that I have really been called to do. I wanted to do this video, just kind of catch you guys up a little bit, uh, and to serve as a intro into moving into posting, maybe not weekly can, I don't know. I almost want to say every other week, but it may be once a week but it will be at least once a month, much more consistently. And my goal with this channel is to just show up and to be in communication to, to stop. I don't want to gatekeep anything that I know. I feel like gatekeeping is bullshit. Um, also too, this is a channel that's for adults and I am someone who is not ladylike and I'm completely fine with that completely fine with that. What does that even mean, right? Being ladylike. Being ladylike, what does that even mean? So I wanted to just get on here and provide a bit of an update. Um, I may do some videos that go in a little bit more detail in terms of like how my practice has changed, um, what have you, but I think the first thing that I want to talk about is the energy. I want to really get into energy, talking about energy, sharing my understanding of energy, and kind of unpacking the year that was before we get into the next year. So that's going to be the next maybe one or two videos uh, moving forward. Uh, so I also think... To, I really want to talk about the election, the energy around the election. I, I have become less reactive in terms of the things that go on in the world because I, I, I don't put my hope in, in humans. I put my hope in God and spirit and, and my spirit guides. And that's how I choose to put my hope in and my focus and my attention because that is the only connected point that is always there, always present, is unconditional in their love and connection and understanding and awareness of the impact that every action has a reaction and impact in other people's lives. So it's going to be an interesting ride. I'm also someone who doesn't sugarcoat things. I, I like to be honest. I'm very honest with my clients because I also recognize, and, and I do this with myself too, like not just my clients, but my friends, colleagues, associates, um, family members, you know, my, my, my partner, like him too. And, you know, I love that he's like that with me as well. Thank God. That's the only reason we've been together for so many years. We've been together for so long. Let's just pause and reflect on that while you're recording a video, Nicole. So here we are. A very, it seems a bit scattered it's going to be interesting to edit back but i just wanted to hop on here and kind of catch you up 
you may be seeing some more Zoom calls like this because I, I care less about the visual quality because the knowledge quality, that's where I care more about. So we'll see. I'm just going to show up, take it step by step, do as I'm called to do, and engage in action in that way. So uh, thanks for listening to me ramble. So you feel like I have been rambling for some time here. And maybe we'll get into some skincare too as well. I'll, I'll share an updated skincare routine. I'm going to take myself through a personalized program as well. I don't know why I shared that because I probably won't share anything other than you seeing what my face looks like on the other side of that. All right. I hope to God and all the little animals high and low and in between that you are doing well that you are finding the space to breathe in the spaces that you're having a hard time catching your breath. Remember to breathe. It's the one thing that you can do and you can have access to at any time. That is the key to mastery is learning to breathe and be with what is and reminding yourself that you're, you're good you're good. I hope to see you soon. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon. If you subscribe to the channel, if you're, if you're following along, I, I promise you will see me soon because we have some things we need to talk about and I am going to bust down the gate and I, I feel like we're gatekeeping too much information and I want to give you permission to do and be how you're called to be for yourself and I'll be right here sipping my tea with my beautifully imperfect skin i need to i, I also want to normalize what is normal because what's normal has become abnormal as well i'm just rambling at this point thanks so much for watching i hope to see you soon make that make sense the world is glitching because it's all connected <laughs>